this is a poem called My God. My God. My God. My God. Let me say it one more time so that I can remind you that my God is mine. And while it may be odd to reiterate, those from the ill to the literate don't recognize that though our lives are intertwined, only my God is mine. You're welcome to your Lord, your Yahweh, your Allah, or your spirit guide, but while I'm alive, the universe of infinite space and my finite time will dance jigs with each other until my departure has arrived. But the song to which we dance will be my note, and my conviction will be stoned as I've grown the steps have too in grandeur and detailing. True that my moves are unconventional, and true that my demise is eventual, but while me and my God have potential, I will labor and I will sweat and I will stress and I will fret until my God sees my work as substantial. And so I will toil and develop the spoils that have so fortunately coiled around my entire existence, because my God puts nature and life before my eyes. He turns my head to wonder at the skies. I think he introduced ketchup to my french fries. He puts stars inside the irises of people's eyes, so no matter what the day, I look at the world in a way that reminds me that I'm not alone when I try and cry to make this world home. He wipes my cheeks and asks me why I don't know, but he knows every day I try to find the solution for this broken stone that has lodged itself in hearts far and wide. My God won't tell me because my God is silent. My God will teach me, but my God is no tyrant. My God, is pre my God isn't preachy. My God is compliant. My God doesn't speak to yours, nor yours to mine, as it seems your God kept your stone inside your heart and kept the art of love elsewhere. My God points my mind to where there's treasure to find, but the, gold, but the gold is words and the chest is time. Maybe my God isn't for you, but it's worth to wonder, what does your God do?